Hello, welcome back. In the last episode we made it so the brushes don't work anymore. In this episode we're going to make them so they work. And we're going to do that by modifying how they work, obviously. So in the last episode um, we ran into a problem where if the brush tries to paint room tiles while it's in a room, it errors because it's looking out and it says, oh I can't draw on top of a room. Brushes are certainly allowed to draw on top of a room and it lets them expand the room or change the details of the room. Um, but what they're not allowed to do is, when they're on a wall, they're not allowed to print into a room. They're not allowed to connect to a room. And that's the key. So last episode I said that we were going to make it a... Uh, we were going to write wall tiles, and that is certainly one way to do this. But I think we're going to leave that for another episode. In this episode we're going to just make it so that they understand that they're allowed to paint in rooms as long as they're in a room. So here in Paint, uh, and later on in Can Paint, we're going to actually make it so that it has a an allowed color. So, um, uh, we're not going to do it. I was going to make it a little, I was going to make it very, very, um, I was going to do something, but that's too aggressive a solution. We're just going to hard code it. like so. And then in here, what we're going to say is, uh, oh actually that's fine. Uh, in Paint works fine because we don't actually check the color scheme. We actually just want to do it here in Can Paint. So here we say color, if color does not equal black and color does not equal clear and, uh, uh, oh you know what I'm thinking? If current does not equal black, so if we're not in a wall, then we are allowed to paint. So what we're telling this brush is that if it's in a room, it's allowed to paint regardless. You can just paint anything it wants if it's in a room. But once it leaves the room, it has to follow the rules as to what it's allowed to paint. So here we're going to say if if uh, not allowed to paint. Actually, we can just skip this whole thing. So actually, if we are in a room, we can just return true. So. We simply say, if we are inside of a room, paint whatever you want. If we're outside of a room, you're not allowed to paint into a room. You're not allowed to connect to a room. But we also have to modify delta in direction. And you might remember that I actually did this modification earlier and then scrapped it. Well, we need to do it again. So here we say uh, uh, color C equals get color X, Y. If color is clear, that's it. We've hit the edge of the map. Return. If the color is black, then range plus plus, but also origin room equals false. Else, now here is where we get to make a choice. Um, else if origin room. Here's where we get to make a choice. Do we count tiles of room as range. If we do, then our brushes will tend to backtrack and move back and forth along the same set of rooms. That can be valuable, but not at the moment. Right now our brushes only paint one kind of tile, so there's no detail brushes, and that means there's no point in going back over the rooms we've already created. So if we're inside of the origin room, we're not going to count it as tiles that we might consider painting. We're just going to ignore it. Uh, and that's just for the weighting of which way we turn. It doesn't actually affect what we paint. Um, I probably lost some of you because this is... I'm not really going over this as, as nicely as I might have. Um, oh, I don't need this allowed to paint thing here. Uh, I'm not going over this quite as clearly as I might have. Maybe next episode I will be more careful with it. But here you can see, voila! This is the very strong beginnings of the map I was trying to tell you all about how to build. But you'll notice that it's um, very high connectivity. 
it doesn't it has a specific look to it that you may not like uh, and that's going to be something that we're going to be fleshing out over the next couple of episodes. But I really wanted to get this episode out of the door, so even though I've been just backbreakingly busy for the past two days, and I'm sorry I didn't post it yesterday, I really wanted to get to this phase so you guys would see this is the sort of thing that we're aiming for. This isn't me just farting around. Um, this is a, an interesting approach, and it will work great if you happen to need a two-dimensional map. So I'll see you next time, hopefully tomorrow, but I'm still pretty busy, where we will start to polish the idea of rooms.